Oh no! I fucked the song up! Hey guys. <laughs> I'm back. After three days without power, I have returned. Oh, this is fine. Okay, well this isn't what I wanted, but that's what I got. <sighs> I gotta move these fucking hotkeys. Oh well. How is everyone on this Thursday? It's still cold! But the lights are back on, so... We're gonna play some football, how about that? Oh, jeez. First, I have to unmod Cheb and Axian so that they can bet on things should they arrive later. Come on, computer, please fucking. Ugh. Good. Did I spell Cheb's name right? I did! Wonderful, I'm great. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, week six, second to last week of the regular season. Things are hot, as you can- wait, this side. As you can see, we have a five-way tie for first place. Lots of teams at three and two, lots of teams playing today. Let's run through the order. Uh, I shaved. I feel so good. I'm clean for the first time in days. It feels really great. Uh, 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 the snow is ass. It was cool for one day and then it sucked for the rest of the week. Anyway, first up, we'll have the Philadelphia Eagles hosting the Dallas Texans. Uh, the Eagles have lost three in a row after starting 2-0. Uh, Chuck Bednarik continues to play well, though I don't know about, like, an MVP. Um, they, uh, the offense is anemic as ever. Uh, they can't put points on the board, and at this point, the defense can't keep them in the game any longer. Uh, the Texans, however, also bad. They have also lost three in a row after going 2-0. So I think they're a nice icebreaker today, for sure. Uh, second up, it's the Green Bay Packers against the Buffalo Bills. The Bills have lost their last two after starting 3-0. The Packers have won their last three after starting 0-2. Uh, they are actually in first place. I know the order here is listed this way. The Packers are actually in first place because I fucked up whenever I was making the thing. We've been over this before. And our actual tiebreaker goes by point differential. And the Packers have the best point differential by a, a good bit. So they're actually in first place. Um, well, whatever. Uh, they're a pretty uh, a good favorite. Um... Uh, I gotta pull up the Discord to check the point spreads and everything. That first game between Philly and Dal and the Texans is uh, just a pick 'em, so we'll run. Uh, well, I'll run the prediction for that in uh, uh, just a second. Uh, the spread for this game was uh, Packers minus two and a half. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. They'll probably win. They'll probably win by at least three points. I think that's a safe bet. Thanks for the follow, Caponis. Uh, Welcome to the Stoop Gang. I hope it's the first gang you've ever joined. Uh, next up, we've got me, Dallas Cowboys, hosting the LA Chargers. Now, similar to the Packers, the Cowboys started 0-2. They were playing really well. That was a 14-13 loss to Philly, and then a... 13-17 loss in overtime to the Broncos, and since then they've won their last three in a row. Uh, so it's fantastic. Oh, awesome! Great. I'm glad that people are. I just. I. I sometimes I wonder if I should stream in the retro category or in the, in in just the Tech Mobile category for this. And I, I think I like streaming in the Tech Mobile category a lot better. So awesome. Um. 
the Chargers, uh, on the other hand, they uh, have been a little topsy-turvy. In fact, if I can just reference this right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably not, huh? Uh, so for the Chargers, they went. Uh, they they won their first game, lost their second, went uh, won their next two, and then they lost last week. Uh, and you know, uh, today I would actually probably have to give edge personally to the Cowboys. However, the Chargers are favored minus two and a half. Um, personally, I, I I think the Cowboys are the safe bet there. Even if they lose, they lose real close. Uh, historically, historically. Historically, uh, and last but certainly not least, and while these two teams do not have the best records necessarily, or at least uh, one of them doesn't, our last game is the Broncos against the uh, worst in the league Patriots. The only uh, the only team that so far is probably out of it. Um, the Broncos are my pick to be the Cinderella story. They they went they went. Uh, uh, where is it? They went 0 and 1. They started losing 35 to 7 against the Bills. And then uh, bounce back the following week with that incredible comeback against my Cowboys. Take it to overtime. Win on a wild passing play. It was great. It was great. Wonderful game. Lose the next week. Pretty close. Things are a little topsy-turvy. And they've won their last two. They look great. They look great right now. Frank Tripica is made of magic. Okay. He's made of it. He's he, His atoms are magic. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the Patriots are bad. They won their first game of the season last week after starting 0-4. Um, eh, whatever. They, they're, they're bad. And so we have the Broncos favored today, minus 3.5. They've got to win by at least 4. They've got to. They're made of magic. Their quarterback's made of magic. they got to win by at least 4. <laughs> and they're at home. They're at home. For crying out loud. Uh, so, yeah, okay. With that... Out of the way. Let's go ahead and line up our first game of the day, and we'll start... Oh, no, 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 no. Not quick fine. Not, not that. And we'll start our first prediction of the day. Prediction. We've got the Philly Eagles at home. Uh, Eagles. Pick them versus Texans. Pick them. Eagles, Texans. All right, folks. Oh shit, no. All right, well that 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 was that was an accident. That's only a minute long. I guess go fast. Just just go fast, folks. <laughs> I accidentally only said it for a minute. Oh well. Ah. Yeah, I mean, in a pick 'em, uh, the Eagles are probably the safer bet here. They've got a better defense for sure, and uh, Hunter Enos is starting again for for the Texans. He wasn't exactly inspired last week, you know. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I, I, if you're just picking to win, you'd probably go Eagles. That's, that's, that's my personal opinion. I'm allowed to get biased on this show. It's my show. All right. The prediction is just about to wrap up. Great. So what do we got? We've got 100 on the Eagles and 10 on the Texans. Fantastic. Okay. So with that, let's switch over here. Let's turn that damn music off, and let's get down to the field. 0-0 zero, zero tie with multiple injuries? Aw, come on. The Giants aren't even a team in my league, so, so you stand to lose nothing. Your Giants are very safe, especially considering most teams in my league tend to not do their best. But it's wildly entertaining. Uh... All right, the players are ready. So without further ado, let's get down to the field in Philly. It's uh, the Eagles hosting the Texans, and we are underway with week six. They tried to snow us out on Monday, but we return on Thursday. All right, we're good, we can see. Yes, everything is good. Yes, 
Texans win the toss, and they will elect to return as they often do. Bobby Walston will kick off. It's a pretty short kick. Will be taken from the 29 by Haynes. He'll get up past the 40-yard line before being brought down at the 42. We'll see if Hunter Enos can uh, get things in order this week. Only threw for 55 yards last week. Under heavy pressure, dumps this one right side incomplete, and lucky that's all. Second down coming up from the 43. Handoff goes to Spikes up the middle. Defense meets him quick. I think that was Bednarik making the tackle, maybe with a little help from Pellegrini. And it's a fake. Dodging tacklers in the backfield. Come on, throw it, Hunter. Oh, come on, Hunter. He'll take off for a yard, maybe, and the punter will head onto the field. That's uh, not exactly an inspired first outing. Although, it's a long way to go. And uh, historically, the Eagles' offense doesn't play super great. They get one or two big plays, and that's usually how they end up winning the game. And that hasn't been happening for them lately. Van Brocklin dropping back on first down. He's got options open downfield. Going to hit Lucas at the 40-yard line. And he's off to the races. Fumble! Snatched up by the Texans. It's Buckman. Buckman passed the 30 to the 25-20. He may score! Tackled from behind at the 8-yard line. First and goal, Texans! Holy shit, folks. Toss right side goes Spikes, and this will be a touchdown! You knew it from the get-go. Jack Spikes putting a spike on that football. Hey, what's up, D-Bring? Extra point is... Good. Jack Spikes scores his own touchdown, then kicks his own extra point, and then kicks off on the ensuing kickoff. He does it all, folks. He does it all! Dean returning from the five-yard line. He'll only make it to the 15, and the Eagles looking to shake off that turnover. Dropping back is Van Brocklin on first down once again. He's got options open. Looking left side. Rhett's laugh is deep. Got it! At the 40, and he's off to the races. One man to beat at the 20. Oh! Nice tackle made to save a touchdown. But the Eagles literally flip field position from one fifteen to another. Van Brocklin. Looking to throw once again. He's got options. Got to throw it. Looking for Lucas on the right side. No. Just off target. Incomplete. Second down and 10 from the 16-yard line. Van Brocklin in the shotgun. Receiver's doing a good job of getting open, but Walt Corey will get to the quarterback before he can make a throw. Third and 23 coming up. And they opt to hand it off to Peaks. I'm not really sure I understand this decision, as he only gains about four, and they send Walston onto the field to attempt a three-pointer. Kick is up, and give him three. Go ahead, Bobby, get your three. Go ahead, Bobby. Walston will kick off a little to the right, a little deeper than last time, although... Still not great, although the coverage team makes a nice tackle. From the 29, the Texans will start this drive. So far, looking so good on offense, and Enos is going to unload on the right side for Burford. Way overthrown, and that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. 7-3, to three, Texans in front. Why are they both wearing white jerseys? What are you guys doing? Enos, looking for an option, going to take off. He'll gain five? Yes. Halfway to a first down. Third down. Coming up. Enos dropping back. Got to throw left side. No! Ed Kayat's going to make the sack. They'll send the punter out onto the field. Still nursing a four-point lead. Dean's the return man from the 16. Makes a move on the cover team, and he'll get a nice return out of that. Not bad, not bad. From the 27, the Eagles will start. Handoff goes up the middle to Barnes. He's met quickly after a gain of only three. Handoff by Fran Brocklin to Peaks. Makes one man miss. Met quickly by the resistance. Third down and three coming up. Van Brocklin in the shotgun. Lots of time. Starts to break down. Hits Peaks over the middle and right at midfield. That's a first down. 
Uh, this hair has obviously not been cut, John. What are you? What are you talking about? Also, what up, John? How are you? That pass will be blocked. Is that a fourth down? No, that's second down. What am I talking about? They just got a first down. <laughs> John's throwing me off. What's up, John? Welcome. Van Brocklin's got to throw it. He'll get the pass off. Looking for peaks. Makes the catch. First down, Eagles to the 25. How are you, John? You're a tired boy. Hey, don't talk to me about tired, dog. I just got my power back after three days. I feel you. I feel you. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, that pass for the end zone will be incomplete. Handoff up the middle goes to Peaks. He'll be dragged down. Short of a first, it'll be third and four. Van Brocklin dropping back on third down. Throwing into the flat for Barnes. He's dragged down for a loss. Fourth down coming up. That's what I'm talking about, man. The Eagles get a big play, and if that big play doesn't score for them, they uh, they fizzle. They fizzle out in the red zone and down on the in the enemy side. And this kicks wide left. Empty possession. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. If you're a if you're a Philly boy, uh, looking for points, it's intercepted. Intercepted by Carr! He'll be dragged down where he stands! But there's still a minute on the clock! Handoff goes right side to Barnes. He's met quickly in the backfield. Ooh, that was a rough and tough tackle. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Keep it real. <laughs> Think slow. We'll get through it just fine. We'll get through it just fine. Thanks for that host, Rhythmic. Appreciate you. All right, Van Brocklin looking to score before the half ends. All oh, his receivers are up and downfield. This is it, Norm. Looking for Lucas. Oh my goodness! Incomplete pass. They will send the kicker onto the field to attempt another kick. He missed one from uh, closer earlier. We'll see if he can zero in. This one looks left as well. It is wide left twice in a row. Come on, Bobby. Could have had nine, Bobby. Enos, play action. They're going to look long on the last play of the half. Intercepted again. It's Freeman. I'm spitting and shit. It's halftime. Seven to three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I told you they're not very good. But it's entertaining. Spikes will kick off for the Texans to start the second half, and it'll be Dean to return from the five. A nice kick. Drag down at just the 12. Deep in their own territory, the Eagles will start. Yeah, God damn it, Bobby. Oh, Rush is on its way, and they'll drag Peaks down for a loss of five. Backed up to their own seven-yard line now. Handoff's going to go right side to Barnes. He's dragged down for a loss. Third and 17 at your own five. He'll be thrown from the end zone if that's what they're thinking of doing. The rush is on its way. Gets the pass off. Can he get there? No. Fourth down and six coming up. That is not the kind of possession you want coming out of the locker room. Van Brocklin will punt. That's right. He does the punting as well. Taking it from the 29 is Haynes. He'll get it only to the 34. Good coverage by the Eagles. Seven to three still. Dallas with the ball and the lead. Handoff. No, it's play action. Enos going to throw it. Looking for Boydston. Got him this time. Gets it past midfield and a first down for Dallas, baby. Handoff. Nope. Play action again. They like that play action stuff. Got to gotta throw it. Looking for Boydston once again. Ooh, he is not afraid of those defensive backs. Despite throwing two interceptions already, he does not give a shit folks. Toss, right side, goes Spikes. He's got good blocks. Makes a nice move. Got a first down to the 31-yard line. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. Haynes taking it right side. Nice gain of five yard lines. It'll be second down. Toss goes Spikes once again. Got a lot of blockers out in front of him. He may score. No, he'll be dragged down at the nine-yard line, but it's a first and goal. 
This will be a handoff taken between. No! Drag down behind the line. Nice tackle. Second and 12. Enos looking to throw. Looking for Haynes. Off target. Incomplete. Third and goal from the 12. Coming up. Oh, what's up, Grant? Don't drink my drink, okay? Throw it, Hunter! Looking for Haynes again and off target once again. Incomplete. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I figured why the hell not. They're going to attempt the field goal. It's going to be wide right. Boink! Not wide right, but it bonks no good. And we are still in this 7-3. to three. It's, all, it's a stalemate! Whoa! Barnes makes a move! Avoids being dragged down for a loss. Second and six coming up. Van Brocklin's going to hand it off up the middle to Peaks. He'll be two yards shy of the first down. Third coming up. Van Brocklin hands it off to Peaks. Has a nice block through the tackles. Gets it up to the 40 and a first down for Philly. Van Brocklin hands it off right side to Barnes. Gets some good blocking, but he can't squeeze past him and he's able to be pursued from behind. Tackle made. Not a big game. Van Brocklin looking to throw here. And fuck these guys and their old dumb names, Van Brocklin. Jesus. Van Brocklin's gonna throw it. Or maybe take off and run! Did he get there? No! They'll call him short, and the Eagles will punt. Are the Eagles really about to lose a fourth one in a row? I mean, they can't both lose four in a row, so one of them has to. I just, I didn't think it would be the te uh, 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 the Eagles. And the Eagles picked to go six and one before the season started. Six and one! How could I be so wrong? Enos got to throw it. He'll just throw it away, avoiding the safety. That's a smart play by a young quarterback. Spend a dollar, get a quarterback. Handoff goes up the middle. Spikes makes a bunch of boys miss. Gets the first down up the middle. To the 23-yard line, first and 10. Enos going to drop back to pass once again. He's got a lot of guys open. Going to hit Burford at the 38. Taking off past midfield, 45, 40. Drag down at the Philly 40 yard line. <laughs> Here comes the rush. They'll get him. It's Kayat again. Get you some, Ed. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ed. Enos going to hand it off up the middle of Spikes. Fumble! Fumble! The Eagles have it! It's Chuck Benderick taking it past the 40. The Eagles will grab him to the 20, 15, 10. He's Eagles take the lead! It's Chucky Benderick! Who else is gonna do it? Chuck's gonna do it himself! <laughs> Holy shit! Chuck Benderick's a fucking beast, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, alright. Return gets it up to the 21. Texans trailing for the first time since the four, uh, since the first quarter. Looking long for Boydston. He'll hit him in stride at the 50 to the 40, 35. Drag down at the 34 yard line and they'll flip field position right away. Calling a quick timeout with a minute 40 on the clock. The Texans are going to try to make a game of it, boys. Enos looking to throw once again. Protection holding, but starting to break down. He's going to unload long for Haynes. Intercepted! Intercepted in the end zone. It's a touchback. Van Brocklin going to do the safe play. Hand it off up the middle to Peaks. Barring some miracle, the Eagles will win it. Van Brocklin going to drop back to pass. Curious choice here. Going to unload left for Retzlaff. Diving grab. What a catch. Well, that's one way to seal the deal. In style, no less. First down and 10 from the 36. Handoff goes up the middle to Peaks once again. Tackled after a gain of only five. 30 seconds to go in the ball game. Texans need a turnover and 
fast, like now. He'll throw for Lucas, hits Lucas. He's toe-tapping on the sideline. They say he's in, first down Eagles. Ooh, protection looks good up front. He's gonna throw for Retzlav in the end zone, touchdown! As time expires, they pour it on! Not exactly pour it on, but I mean, for how this game went, it's kind of the equivalent. And the final score will be 17 to seven. Eagles win! What a fucking game, eh? <laughs> oh man, Van Brocklin had his best game of the season. Uh, you know, their running game wasn't exactly uh, anything, you know, to write home about. Jack Spikes ran pretty well in the five touches he had. They probably should have gave it to him more, to be honest. He's averaging over 10 yards a carry. Uh, what a goddamn gam. Let me, uh, flick it over here. Uh, prediction. Winner. Eagle. Eagle. Eagle big winner. Choose that outcome. Eagles, congratulations. Caponis. Right, you voted Eagles, right? Yeah, congratulations, Caponis, on your first bet going very well. Uh, let's flick it back over here. Oh, shit. And start this music back up. Go ahead. And we will get this game out of my face. Okay. Up next. Oh, yeah. Great. Up next, we have the Packers hosting the Billies. I will set this prediction period to be a little longer. Like five minutes. All right, music. There you go. Can't bet on my own stream or as a mod on the other folks that do the. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I just unmod my mods so that they can play too. <laughs> so, like, that's how I go about it. But I mean. Um. Okay, let's do. And then what, what was it? It was. Uh, Packers minus two and a half. Do you also play Tech Mobile on Twitch? Like, do something like this? Because I know some other people do stuff like this, but... Uh... Right? Yes. Okay, five minutes. That should be good. That's plenty of time. Yeah? Right on. That's cool. Oh shit, a big 1k on the Packers. God damn. Go off, dog. 1.3 on the Packers total. God damn, god damn. Y'all feeling confident today? Hey, what's up, Sam? Give the bot a second. It's being slow today. Giants will see. Okay, no, I don't think so. I was trying to think if I've seen if I've seen that before, but uh, um, but that sounds good. I've I've played. I've, I mean, obviously, I'm using the uh, the 1960 ROM here, but um. I played a bunch of different ones. I don't, um, do you prefer, uh, TSB3 to, uh, original? Because I, personally, I, I like the original a, like, a lot better. But, well, actually, my favorite is the, the 
first Nint Super Nintendo version. But that one has, like, the least support. Um, I think maybe it's also kind of... I, uh, maybe it's, it's like, particularly difficult to... This rock. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, we back, we back. But, um, I don't know, there's just something about the original to me. It has, it has the most support of all of them, I guess. It has the most ROM options. So, I don't know, it's got a, a je ne sais quoi to me. Okay, I do feel that the 3 does have, like some some cool new features i just don't like the play calling in three in particular and i'm not crazy about the look of three i don't i don't like the like digitized football players like you know what i mean yeah i mean you know what i mean obviously but yeah okay yeah see you get it yeah because i the the original tsb is just like overall more probably more fun but three does have yeah, the graphics suck. Which sucks because, like, Techno Super Bowl was really, like, is really pretty. Like, the sprite work, even in the original, is, like, really good. Like, you can tell what everything is really, really easily, and it's it's all 11 players on the field and everything. It's really well done. Um, uh, and then, and then to me, the, the first one for, uh, uh, you know, Techno Super Bowl for Super Nintendo, the first one, is like peak that's that is like the peak uh blend of like you know oh yeah oh yeah it's, it's tsb but over madden by by a country mile dude big time big time big time that's i I don't, well, I don't have anything to play the new, well, I guess I have my computer, but I don't think I could play the new, newest Madden on my computer. <laughs> my computer's too old and shitty, but, um, I only ever play the newest Maddens at, like, friends' houses that buy it, because I just, oh, dude, you should try it. It's super good. To me, it's the best version of the game. It has... Uh, just the, the perfect blend of like new features but isn't too complicated because it's the same like play calling as the NES version but it's got some like cool features like the the like fullback dive is like a and 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 changing your plays like mid game and just a little quality of life things but without making it too complicated um, it doesn't have c custom players unfortunately like 3 that is the one thing about 3 that I really like that it doesn't really have and it doesn't have free agency but, I mean, I don't know. I'll sacrifice that. <laughs> and it's, to me, it's the prettiest version. It's so good. Each uh, end zone is uh, specific to, to each team with their logo and their name and da 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 da, -da. Just like in 3, but, but it's way prettier. Oh, damn. Okay, well... I mean, I had a PS4 for like a second, but I got my PS4 really late, and then I sold it. Well, I pawned it, and then I never went and got it back. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a the cat. <sighs> okay. Did the prediction wrap up? Are we good? Yes, good. Okay. Let's pause the music. I'm going to take a drink of water, and then we are going to jump into game two. Packers Bills. Let's flick it over there. Some other streamers play TSP2. Just stayed. Well, yeah. I mean, I can understand that if because you, you're already like very like involved with doing three or using three, so that makes sense. But I mean, just to try it, I would I would check it out. Just it's one day that you're not doing anything. Um, who's next? Packers Bills. That's what I said. Wait, let me take a drink of water. But, ah, they'll do the coin toss. It's fine. Heading down to Lambo Field.
Oh, right on, Caponis. Have a good day, dude. Thanks for stopping by, man. And thanks for the follow. Hopefully, I'll see. You. I'll uh, I'll see you later, man. <laughs> right on, dude. All right, Packers going to start things off from their own 35-yard line, looking for a fourth victory in a row. Handoff goes right side to Horning. He gets out past the defend uh, the defenders. Gets a first down. Star going to toss it left side to Taylor, and this has kind of been their bread and butter, just just alternating. How long am I going for today? Uh, TSB usually goes for about two hours, and then Zelda is going to take at least a couple hours. So I'll, I'll be on for, for a while. Uh, I can't say exactly how long, because I don't know how long exactly Zelda 2 is going to take, but I don't think it's going to take very long, but it'll take a little while. So I'll be on for a while. Star from the shotgun. Gonna step up, take off, get the first down and more. He's quite the scrambler, ladies and gentlemen, and he will advance the Packers into the red zone. Very nice, very nice. Star from the shotgun once again. He's dangerous, folks. Gonna step up. Will he take off? He's being grappled, breaks one tackled, and gets brought down by another. Hey, thanks for that host. Thanks for that host, Caponis. Keep it real. Star gonna play action, throw an interception! It was Wagstaff! You know it! Green gonna take over for the Bills! Looking, protection holding up nicely, looking long for Carlton, leaping grab! What a catch by Ray Carlton! None other than! And they will flip field position. Green dropping back once again. Gonna throw it over the middle to Rykleck. Gets it up past the 20. Inside the 15 to the 12. Before being brought down. First down, Billy's once again. Green dropping back. Protection looks good. Throwing over the middle. Incomplete. Shotgun formation once again. Second down this time. Here comes the rush, gonna throw for Dubinion in the corner, can't make the connection. Incomplete, third and 10 coming up. They can get it to the one. Oh, sack by Bill Forrester, fourth down coming up and they'll send the field goal unit on to the field. Looking for three points at least. Atkins is pretty accurate and he's good this time. Three nothing Bills. Billy getting three. Looks like a nice kickoff. It gets up in front of the scoreboard. <laughs> It'll be returned from the front of the end zone. Out past the 10 to the 15. Cuts it back inside to the 20. 25. Breaks the tackle. Out past the 30. 35. 40. 45. He'll get to midfield and more. The opposite 40. Finally dragged down at the Bills. 40. Uh, 39. What a run back. Handoff goes left side to Horning. The first quarter has expired finally. First down run, what a run, god damn. And the second quarter will begin with a first and 10 from the Bills 22. Star looking to throw, looking for Dowler. Whoa, nice block by the defense. Star dropping back, looking for Dowler again, incomplete. Lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Bit of a risky throw in double coverage. Star going to drop back once again. Looking right, looking left, looking right again. Intercepted at the goal line. It's Atkins. And the Bills take over after another turnover. Green looking to throw from his own goal line. And he'll just throw this one away. He didn't like what he saw. Yeah, he just didn't like what he saw. He said, get this, the, get, get this the hell out of my hands. I don't want nothing to do with this. Hot potato, baby. He'll toss it right side to Smith. Carl Smith cutting it back inside. It'll be a gain of seven before it's all said and done. 3.35 to go in the second quarter. Third and three on the way. Handoff up the middle goes to Smith. He'll get the first down and a little more to the 24. Hooey, baby. From the shotgun, Green. Protection is good up front. Gonna unload! Risky throw! Really toss it up. Receiver makes an adjustment but can't make the grab. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Handoff goes to Carlton. Ooh, not much there for him. Third and nine coming up. 
shotgun formation once again. Here comes the rush. Johnny goes down. Bill Forrester with his second sack of the day. Oh, hell yeah, he says. Joe Nobody gonna punt. It's a nice one. From the 35, makes a nice move. He'll get it up to the 46 before uh, before it's all said and done. Star from the shotgun. Still trailing three none. Looking long for Dowler. Intercepted again, that's the third one. This time it's Johnson. You get a pick, and you get a pick, and you get a pick. God damn, Bart, slow down. Handoff goes right side. Carlton with a first down and more. He likes to get out to that sideline and take off. That's his That's his move. That's his shimmy shimmy yaw. Shimmy yeah. Shimmy yay. Green looking to throw on first down. Makes one man miss as he takes off and another. Gets a block at the 40 yard line and he's still going at the 25 to the 20. All the way down to the 15 before being dragged in for a tackle. What a run by Johnny Green. First down, Bills once again, shotgun. Green gonna step up. Oh, and he's tackled! Sacked by Tom Bettis! Loss of two, and they'll call their final timeout. Excuse me. Green gonna look to throw once again. Good coverage down the field. He'll try for Dubinion. Off target, incomplete. Really not, really haven't been able to hit that corner today, and they will opt to just... Uh, grab another three points before the half expires. Atkins is pretty automatic from this range, and that continues to be the case. Atkins will kick off, and uh, very likely that this could be the last play of the half. We will see, and it will be. Halftime show. Here we go. Only 6 nothing. Very low scoring affairs thus far today. First game ended up being 7-3 uh, most of the way. Ended up being 17-7 before it was done. Uh, this one, only 6 none through through uh, through the first two quarters. We'll see uh, if we see any touchdowns today. Holy hell. Um, Horning will kick off deep. Fowler taking it from their own goal line. Bills with the lead and getting the ball first to start the second half. That's uh, how you like it to go every time if you can. Green in the shotgun once again, as we've seen him much today. Gonna step up and take off again! Doesn't get the same blocking as he did on that earlier play, but he does get three yards. Green gonna drop back once again. Get some nice blocking. He'll dump it in the flat to Carlton, and he's liable to make a big play, and he will! All the way up to the 30. First down, Billy Boys! Green under center for the first time in what feels like forever. He'll toss it right side to Smith. Defense is there to make a tackle at the line. Actually say he loses a little bit. Handoff goes up the middle to Smith. They have not tried their favorite running play, the fake up the middle toss to Carlton. They have not tried it yet. Just want to point that out. Here comes the rush! Bill Forrester with sack number three! Three sacks. If he gets one more, he'll break... Uh, Chuck Bednarik's, uh, Chuck Bednarik's record for most sacks in a single game with three. He's tied it already. My goodness. History in the making. Carpenter receiving the punt. Getting out past the 40-yard line to the 45. Woo! God damn, what a tackle. He is crushed at the 48-yard line. Packers offense will take over. Star under center. He'll drop back. Looking to pass. Dowler making some space. He'll take off. Three-yard gain on the quarterback scramble. <laughs> Protection looks good up front. He's going to look for Dowler again. Off the fingertips. Incomplete third and seven coming up. Packers need to make something happen here. They've looked so good for the last three weeks. And they're really falling flat here against the Bills today. Taylor trying to stretch it. They say he's short. But they'll try horning on a long field goal. He's made longer. The kick is up. It's good! What a kick! Oh my goodness, Paul Horning, one of the best running backs, uh, one of the best running backs in the game, the best kicker in the game, bar none. Bar none. Bar none. Six-three ball game. Fowler gets a fumble. Fumble. Packers have it. Packers have it at the Bills' ten-yard line. What a turn of events! Go Pack! Go! 
Hand off. No. Star still has it. Play action. Gets the pass off to Dowler. Intercepted. Bills have it back. <laughs> Holy hell. Handoff goes Carlton, lots of space in the middle. Breaks the tackle at the 35 and he's off to the races past midfield. 40, 35, they're in pursuit at the 30 and they'll bring him down. What a run by Ray Carlton. God damn it. <laughs> Green dropping back. Good protection up front. He'll throw left side Chamberlain. Coverage is good. Gets in his way, he can't focus, can't make the grab, and we will head to the fourth quarter. It is 6-3. So far, still no touchdowns yet in this ball game. Will this be our first ever no touchdown football game? Looking for Chamberlain! Oh, no! Off his fingertips, that was almost a touchdown. Here comes the rush! Bill Forrester with four sacks in a single game! It's an SGFL record! Atkins attempting another kick. This is the longest one of today. And it's no good! And the Packers remain within three points! Toss goes left side, Taylor. And they get him in the backfield. Left side, Horning makes one man miss. He'll get it up past the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third and nine. Man in motion to the right. Here comes the rush! They'll bring him down! It's Joe Schaefer getting the sack on Bart Starr! You gotta go for it here, don't you? No! No! I guess not! What do I know? I mean, I guess your defense has played pretty well today, but I don't, I don't know. Your offense hasn't. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, they'll pin him back at the 17. Packers need a turnover. Green, looking to throw, gonna step up and fire, left side. Can Chamberlain make the grab? He does! First down, up to the 48. Yes. Handoff goes to Ray Carlton, he's met quickly, no gain. Packers call a frantic timeout. Still six to three, not a single touchdown scored in the whole game. Hand off. No, here it is. The toss to Carlton. Did he get it? No. They'll call him short. Third down coming up. Packers call their final timeout. They need to stop right here, right now. They need to hold him to a, a long field goal. And it's play action. I can't believe you don't run it here. And it's no. What in the world was that throw? What are you doing? And they'll actually punt rather than go for a long field goal. Probably smart after Atkins missed that uh, that earlier affair. He seems to have a, a bad case of frozen foot. And this punt will go way through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Packers setting up for what will likely be their final drive of the game. From their own 20-yard line, handoff goes up the middle. Gain of only one. This time, going to go left side to Horning. Defense can't get him before he gets a first down to the 31. Looking to get some momentum on the ground. From the shotgun, gonna try to pass now. Got a lot of time, looking right. Out of bounds, throw out of bounds. Didn't like what he saw downfield. Didn't like what he saw downfield, opts to just throw it away. From the shotgun once again. Clock ticking away, he'll hit Jim Taylor. He'll get a first down and a little more. Trying to break some tackles, just go down Jim. Save the clock. Up to the 46, it's a first down for the Packers. 47 seconds to go in the ballgame. Handoff up the middle goes to Taylor. He'll gain some. They need at least a field goal. They do have the best kicker in the game. Field goal would take you to overtime, still give you a chance. Handoff goes to Horning, trying to get himself in range. And they will send old Paul onto the field for the kick. Can he send them to overtime? The kick is up, and it is good! We're going overtime, folks! Oh yeah, we're going overtime. Here we go. Overtime coin toss.
Packers did it! And they will return! Field goal wins the ball game. Field goal also puts them up by the necessary three points in order to, in order to cover for those that bet on the Packers. So this is just what you need. Return goes up to the 15-yard line. Not a bad return after a long kick. Star under center. Toss goes left side Taylor. He's got a lot of space. Can he make a move? He'll break a tackle. That's more his style. Gain of eight. Star goes left side Taylor. Gets a good block. Gets a first down up past the 30 to the 35. Up to the 40. Finally dragged down at the 41. Toss left side Taylor again. They like this play a lot and another five yards there. Whew. This looks like a pass. Oh yeah, play action pass. He's got McGee on the top sideline. He sees him. Catch made at the, tw at the 15 to the 10, five. Packers win it. Packers win it. Packers win. 12 to six in overtime. Why is the bot not working? <laughs> Why does it say the stream is offline? Here, I need to restart the bot. But um yeah, the Packers won. Holy hell. <laughs> what a what a win in OT, eh? Congratulations, folks. Congratulations. Here, I'll uh, award you all your winnings. Bart Starr threw for a nice, a nice 69 yards. That was all he needed. And four interceptions on his way to the Packers' fourth win in a row. 12 to 6. <laughs> oh my goodness. Packers win. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Packers betters. Very sorry to... Uh, I don't think anybody bet on um, the Bills there, which is a first. Yes, Gronk, you're very pretty. <laughs> All right, I need to actually put the scores in. I forgot. I'll switch over here. And take that off. Okay. Now, Eagles, Texans. <laughs> All right. Eagles, Texans was 17 to 7. Right, the Eagles won, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we had... Oh, come on. And then we had the Packers beating the Bills 12-6. to That's probably the wildest score we've had all year. Oh, let me turn this... Uh... It's background music back on. Twelve to six. Holy shit. What a comeback, dude. To get that field goal late and then to uh toss it three times in a row to Jim Taylor and then to set up that play action. He rolls out McGee's all by himself. Woo! Intercept that bitch! Intercept that! You can't, cause nobody's around him. You just can't. Oh man. Very nice, very nice, okay. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. I gotta run to the potty. 
and then we will talk about our next game and get our next predictions going. Okay? B R B. <laughs> <laughs> Lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the rain down in Africa. I think this is. Oh, I just popped my neck. <laughs> I want to rock. And then I, and then I go across the shelf and I go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. 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 Flawless. Huh. Ah. Huh. Yes. Oh, did you see that fucking sick fucking scissor kick or whatever he just did? Oh, shit! I did the... Oh, my brain. Forgot Willie Davis was on this team. Oh, yeah, he was there, uh... I think for the whole decade. I, I think... Fumble! They fumble right back! Do the Chargers have it? They do! And they're sprinting down the sideline. It's Rami Loud! Rami Loud breaking tackles! I'm ready. Also, I have two things. I am ready. I am ready to beat Mega Man's ass. Wait, now I look like the box art. Alright, folks. Welcome back. <laughs> Up next, we have my Dallas Cowboys. Where's the logo? There it is. My Dallas Cowboys up against the LA Chargers. Now, uh, the Chargers are, of course, here, let's get the prediction going. I have to double check. I think the Chargers are three and a half. No, two and a half, two and a half, sorry. Here, so let's get this next prediction rolling. Hope everyone's doing well today. I know I am. I am so happy to be streaming again. I was I was so so sad that I could not stream. As Axion would say, does Axion say yeehaw a lot? Is that is that a thing that he says? I I feel like I've known him for a while now and I just I don't know how many times he said yeehaw. Um All right, Cowboys plus two and a half versus Chargers minus two and a half. Y'all know the dang Dilio, you got five minutes to put some stoop bucks on it. Just, just, just throw that dang money around, dude. Just like you don't even give a shit. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Whenever, yeah, he does. He does. He does in that specific context. You're right. My bad. <laughs> mm. I'm so excited. Let's see. Um. Let's take a look. The, uh, the Cowboys are, are, as I said earlier, similar to the Packers. They've won their last three after starting 0-2. And, and the Chargers have been kind of up and down. They won one, lost one, very close. Um, won two in a row, and then they lost last week. Um, now, me, I think the boys are going to do it. I think the boys are going to get it done. But, uh... I understand that the Chargers are probably the safer option. They, they, they truly are. But 
I got faith in the boys. The boys have been pulling off some 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 silly shit. I, I think they'll probably find a way in the playoffs, just like the Broncos will. Um, in fact, the playoffs will probably be Packers, Cowboys, Broncos, and then either the Chargers or the Bills. I don't know. I don't know. How <laughs> Axion's your new bestie? Well, shucks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, how many bets do we have so far? What? That's just untrue. I I know Axion better than he knows himself. I, I I'm pretty sure I spawned Axion from my own imagination. So. <laughs> so uh. Fake news. Yeah, he's... Yeah, I designed... <sighs> I designed Axion in a lab. To be the perfect, uh, <coughs> Twitch viewer. For me. Just me. That's why he doesn't watch anybody else. <coughs> Woo! Lordy! Good stuff. Um... I wish I could bet on this stuff. I mean, I can't earn any stoop bucks because I have infinite stoop bucks. Like, like I have a little stoop bucks icon here, but it it, it just says infinite. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. And <laughs> there she go. Where'd she go? <laughs> Where'd she go, dude? I don't know. <laughs> Through the fucking wall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right through the fucking wall. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. There you go. She's she's trying to entice you to to spend two bucks. I like the sax, dude. I'm having a sax attack. Gronk butt, absolutely. F <laughs> I don't know if that's a narrative we should push. Um, I don't know if we should be saying that my cat's ass is free. That's. That doesn't sound good, dude! <laughs> Alrighty, the bets are in! No, no, alright, that's enough. <laughs> the bets are in? Uh, let's get down to the damn field. Let me, let me pause this dang music. This beautiful, beautiful music. Music. Beautiful, beautiful music. How about them cowboys? How about them cowboys? Did you bet cowboy? You did. Very good. Very good. I think it's smart. I think it's smart. I think the cowboys will do just fine. Let's uh let's see if I'm right. <laughs> we are uh right here in Dallas, uh at the Cotton Bowl. The Dallas Cowboys will be hosting the LA Chargers. Let's get to it! Let's get down to the field for the coin toss. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, uh, 
And the Chargers. Oh, do you really? That's cool. All right, Dick Bielski kicking off for the Cowboys. Lowe will take it up to the 50, and he fumbles it, and the Cowboys recover! What a start! So if you look out your window, you could probably see this game happening live instead of on your computer screen. Uh, McElhinney will take it left side for a loss of one. Not a great start for the boys' running game. LeBaron dropping back to pass on second down. He's got Clark over the middle, but he'll try left side for Doran. Nice adjustment by the safety. Incomplete. <sighs> Handoff. No! LeBaron still has it. Gonna throw for Duggan. Incomplete. That'll be fourth down. A three and out for the Cowboys after a pretty uh, awesome start. <laughs> Go give them a rousing uh, sideline speech. Kemp rolling out left. Defender in his face. He's going to pass. Looking for Wumble. He's got him at the 35 to the 40. 45. He'll get it up to midfield and fumble again. Fumble again. Cowboys have it. It's Ed Hussman. Who else? He's quite the defensive producer. And the Cowboys take over deep in LA territory. LeBaron rolling out after the play action. Pass is blocked right in his face. He said, smack, get that shit out of here. Try again, Eddie. Eddie says, okay. Drops back on second down. Looking for Dupree. He has him, and he's dragged down immediately for a loss of four. Not exactly uh, uh, the answer to the question. Handoff goes up the middle to McElhaney. He'll gain five. It'll be fourth and nine, but they are in range for a Dick Bielski field goal. He's none too bad himself when it comes to kicking that dang ball. Up and... No good! Wide left! I just said he was good at it! I just... Oh, God, I'm always announcer jinxing. <laughs> hey, Axion, what's up? Ooh, sack on first down. Long second down. Kemp with lots of options. Defenders in his face. He'll hit Ferguson over the middle. It's Howie Ferguson getting the first down to midfield. Finally being dragged down. I think he got it just a little bit in Dallas territory. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, handoff's going to go up the middle to Howie Ferguson himself. Three-yard gain and a cloud of dust. Kemp dropping back. Looking. Protection breaks down. He's going to throw long for a wobble. Incomplete! Oh my goodness! Did you see that defender just punch Womble right in the face? That's not very sportsmanlike at all. Kemp dropping back. Looking. Gotta get the pass off, and he will. Throwing long on the right side. Caught by Anderson! He's dragged down at the two, and it's a first and goal for Los Angeles! Kemp dropping back. First and goal. Gonna step up. Throw! Caught! Touchdown, Chargers! Dave Cockerick adds to his touchdown totals. Extra point is good. What? No, come here. Alright. I tried to pick the cat up, and she ran from me. Butler gonna return this one. He'll get it up to the 44 before being tackled. Sometimes the robot struggles. Sometimes the robot struggles. Ooh. What's going on with that? Looking for Dugan. Incomplete on second down. Third and 11 coming up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the bye. I... I tried. Ah! There you go. That's that's all I got. I don't, I don't know. I restarted it. It just... It, it doesn't seem to realize that it's supposed to be working. Which is, you know, kind of fucked. But it's okay. I'll, uh... After the SGFL finish, finishes, I'll just end stream. And I'll restart my computer. And then we'll go again. Before we start uh, Zelda. So that I can fix all the... The wonky stuff real quick. Kemp gonna hand it off to Ferguson this time. 
Wow. Handoff goes left side to low. Got the first down. Yeah, because the emulator's fucking up too, and uh, that's getting me kind of nervous. <laughs> Kemp gonna hand it off to low left side once again. Tackle is made after a gain of four. 240 to go in the first half. Chargers lead 7 0. Handoff goes right side this time. Low again, making moves and getting the first down to the 44. Kemp gonna drop back. Intercepted! Intercepted by Burchich! I don't think so. <laughs> Handoff goes left side to Dupree. Tackle made after a gain of only two. Timeout called quickly after. LeBaron from the shotgun gonna step up. Gets the pass off, but it's incomplete. Good coverage down the field. Third and eight coming up. Looking to get on the board before the half ends. Play action. Looking to dump it under to Mackling. Gets the first down and more making a move. Gets out past the defense and another! Finally dragged down at the eight yard line. It's first and goal, Cowboys. What a play by Don Macklin. He what a run after the catch. Holy hell. LeBaron looking to throw for Doran. Touchdown, Cowboys. Hits him right between the numbers in the corner of the end zone. And the boys are on the board. Already. Extra point is good, and we are all tied up. And uh, thanks to that nonsense on the opening kickoff, the uh, the fumble that resulted in the Cowboys taking control, um, the Cowboys actually get the ball first to start the second half as well. Handoff goes right side to low, who has a lot of space. I think they're going to try to go ahead and just get into field goal range. They may uh, they they may say they already are. Will they put Agahanian out there? No. They're gonna go ahead and just sling it, I bet. No, it's a handoff low. Gonna expire the rest of the clock. Be tackled after a gain of a first down. And uh, that'll take us to the halftime show. Seven to seven so far. A lot of low scoring games thus far today. It's, uh, it's a cold day in hell. And everybody's feeling it, you know what I mean? All right, Agahanian to kick off. It's a nice, a deep one. Will be returned from the three by Butler to only the 11. Way back in their own territory is the boys. LeBaron under pressure and he's sacked back at their own one. It's Ron Botchin. Any further back and it may have been a safety. Here they come again. McElhaney goes down, and there the safety is! Do the safety dance! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! <laughs> That's the only one I could think of. Fuck you, Axion. God damn it. Stop! You guys, stop it. I'm not doing that shit anymore. Ferguson makes the catch over the middle, gets a first down to the 43. I'm trying, I'm trying to call a game. <laughs> Stop bullying me. <laughs> Kemp dropping back on first down. Now with a two-point lead, gonna throw across his body. Hits Ferguson for another first down. Whew, that was a tight throw. Tight butthole. Got lots of options open on the right side. He's gonna take it off himself. Take it off himself. Take off himself. Gets it inside the 30. It's a first down once again. Chargers moving the ball nicely on this drive. Momentum has shifted their way for sure. Gonna throw over the middle. Hits Ferguson inside the 20. Gets a first down to the 14. That's four first down plays in a row. Moving it nicely. Here comes the rush. They'll get to him. It's Jerry Tubbs. Puts a tub on a, on that quarterback, if you know what I'm saying. Kemp dropping back on a second and long. Got options open on the right side. He sees Anderson. Diving catch for a touchdown. What a catch by Ralph Anderson. <laughs> I 
And it is 16 to 7 here in Dallas. Most of the Cowboys uh, suffered power loss at home. That may be why they are playing poorly here today. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm allowed to say it. I also experienced it. Uh, LeBaron looking to throw. Sees Clark over the middle. Maybe he shouldn't have. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time they came back, but they need to make something happen in a hurry. He's under pressure. Gets the pass off. Looking long for Dorian. Hits him in stride at the 45 across midfield to the other 45. 40. 35. Drag down at the 31-yard line. Big first down for the boys. Handoff goes up the middle to McElhaney. Makes a move and he's inside the 20. Nice run for a first down to the 13. Whew. Offset eye, handoff up the middle to McElhaney. This time only going for a couple. Handoff up the middle of McElhaney once again. Met quickly, gain of three, third and four coming up. 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Still trailing by nine. Looking to throw. Does he see Clark? He's looking for Dorn on the left side. Incomplete. The coverage is good. And they will opt for a field goal to bring it within a score. As the clock expires, Bielski lines it up and kicks. It's good. He's one for two today. Give him three. 16-10 as we head to the fourth quarter. Cowboys will kick off. Gets a nice foot under this one. Caught at the three, taken past the 15 to the 18 before being tackled down. First down for the Chargers, 434 to go in the game. All they really need to do is nurse this lead, keep the Cowboys off the field. Throwing long for Cockerick, risky throw. Kemp says he just don't goddamn care. Want pizza? Uh, sure. Pizza, cool. Uh, Kemp dropping back. Throwing for Cockrick over the middle. Caught at the 35 to the 38. And brought down for a first down Chargers. Handoff goes right side to Ferguson. Cuts it back inside. Gets a first down and more to the boys 43. Axie, what the fuck do you think? Uh, yes to either one, really. Uh, second down. <laughs> yeah, it's all frozen. It's all frozen here right now. Gonna throw long for Cockerick. Oh, just off his fingertips and incomplete. Anderson makes the crab at the 25 and he's off to the races. He may score. Touchdown saving tackle made at the five. But if they don't keep them out of the end zone here, this is game over for the Cowboys. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some places are. Sack made by Jack Patera! That's one way to keep them out of the end zone. Back them up! Back them up! Handoff goes left side to low. Gets it up to the six. Timeout called with two minutes to go in the game. Third and seven. They can't even afford to give up a field goal here. They need a... Oh! Touchdown! That'll do it. Howie Ferguson putting a final nail in the Cowboys' coffin. Axion, you should order some delivery pizza. No. No, God, no. Please, God, no. No, no. No! Return made to the 46, and the Cowboys will take over, but it is all for naught from this point, I'd have to say. With only 90 seconds to go, handoff goes to Dupree right side. Makes a nice run. Ooh, a little bit of a stutter. First down, Cowboys. <laughs> Gonna throw long for Dugan! Caught it! And he'll score! Now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Fred Dugan making a nice catch, and uh, if they get a 
an onside kick here, they'll have enough time to actually sling one down the field and maybe maybe make a go of this. They will not cover, but they could still win. Here's the onside by Bielski. Bounce, bounce, recovered by the Chargers. Ferguson, who else? He's been all over the ball today. And the, the Chargers should hold on to win it. Kemp going to look to throw, and he'll take off, gaining only one on that quarterback scramble. Yikes, that's that's shitty. That's a, that's a shit money to pizza ratio, uh, Axiom. With uh, six seconds to go, this will be the final play of the game. Clock has expired. He'll throw long for Cockrick. Off the fingertips, incomplete. Looking to pour it on there at the end. 23-17, Chargers hold on to get the dub. It was a wild one. Certainly, certainly. Uh, LeBaron, uh, pretty consistent with uh, previous performances. Uh, Cockrick, or I mean uh, Kemp, I would say uh, the same. Chargers beat the shit out of them on first down. 12 first downs to four. That, that really uh, tells the tale. You know, the, the Chargers were just moving the ball significantly better. Significantly better. Let me plug in this score here. Cowboys, 17. Chargers, 23. They bounce back after losing last week. Find themselves back in the win column, get their fourth win of the season. Cowboys fall to 3-3. Three and three. Not out of it yet, but it's not looking good. Um, yes, submit. Did you hear Ted Cruz went to Cancun during Texas Winter Wonderland and he was wearing a Texan flag face mask in the airport? Oh, really? You... The stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas, baby. <laughs> Only I don't get to go to Cancun. I get to freeze at home. So, uh... That's cool. But at least we have the same face mask. Fuck you, Ted! I mean it, too. I mean it real bad. <laughs> I'll lock that to a... Avoid any um, unforeseen entries during our final game of the evening. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, fuck Ted Cruz. Fuck Ted Cruz to hell. Ted Cruz sucks shit. Even even conservatives don't like him. That's how, that's how that's how shit Ted Cruz is. Like even his side doesn't like him. Alright, whatever. Fuck Ted Cruz, that's all. <laughs> huh, I, I mean... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's switch it over here. Let's settle up that prediction. Yeah, go go back to Canada, Ted. Get out of here, please. I uh, eh. uh, Chargers. They uh, certainly won by. At least three. Winning by six. Yes. Good. Complete. Um, let me check on this bot again. What is going on? It just... The bot seems to think that the stream is offline. Does it need to update? Is that the problem? Does it need to update? I don't think so. What is going... Like, what's your dilio, dog? We don't seem to know that uh, 
that 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 the stream is live. I just I can't help but notice, and it's it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Bot, please. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna do like I said and just, uh, Uh, and just uh, re just restart my computer after we finish the last game. So let's just do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's, that's all I can do. That's all I can think of. Prediction. Let's go. It's Broncos Patriots. Can the Patriots get two wins in a row, or will they go back into the lose column? Can the Broncos? Keep their Cinderella story alive. Let's find out. I have the Broncos favored by three and a half. Patriots obviously plus three and a half. All right, folks, you have five minutes. Sling your dang money around if you feel like it. If you're feeling for whiskey with your god dang stoop bucks, go ahead and sling them around. <sighs> or not. I, uh... Yeah, that sucks about the bot though. I don't know. Honestly, my I, I, I realize now that I in the last few days I've been using my computer to entertain myself while we were staying up at my at my dad's shop because we didn't have power at home. Um, I realize that I haven't turned my computer off and I've been using it to entertain myself for the last few days. So I could probably restart it real quick. I should have thought to do that before. I didn't. Whoops. So. And that'll probably get everything uh, sorted out. It just... He's just a poor, tired baby. He needs to, like, close his eyes for 10 seconds. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> In fact, since, uh... Since pizza's about to happen, I may just... I may just go eat pizza. Ah! <laughs> I may just go eat pizza and then go live again. And then we'll start uh, Zelda. So I'll go live like 10 minutes later than I think. Because the, actually the pizza's probably going to be ready while I'm making this. Um... Um, here, um, I'll be right back. Whee! Get me some water! Come on, Lance, come on, Lance, come on, Lance. <gasps> and onto the field for a pretty long one. It's a decent length. Agahanian's a pretty good kicker, though, and this one is no good! Did I just announce or jinx him? Did I just announce or jinx him? LeBaron will hand it off left to Macklin. He's got a nice lane, making two men miss. And another! And another! And another! Don Macklin! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, don't bite down on the babe. A little bit of juice squirted into my mouth. That was gross. All right. Some people do though, so I mean... 
<laughs> Obviously. Pretty much overnight. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, folks. <sighs> okay, so let's see. We've got 1.5k on the Patriots. Holy shit. I'm feeling frisky today. And then 600 on the Broncos. Very interesting. Very interesting. Also, you'll get your intro sound whenever we come back with uh, with Zelda. I'm not doing. I'm not. I'm not mouthing intro sounds. That's not. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> ah. Ah. That's it. Alright, we are wrapping up the prediction here in the next, what, like, 30 seconds? And then we'll be getting into our final game of the evening! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Ah, thanks for that, 20 bits. One more, uh... I think I talked over him, my bad, but I changed the, um... The text-to-speech to, um... English, but it's Welsh? Like it's a Welsh voice, but English, but with like a Welsh accent. And he sounds like like a fucking android from uh, from Alien. Oh, you heard it? Okay, good. Yeah, he sounds like a fucking android from Alien or some shit, like Bishop or some something. I don't know, something like that. He sounds like a robot. <laughs> He sounds like a, like, not super sophisticated robot. <laughs> Alrighty. The bets are in. Like Flynn. It's time to get down to that god dang field. <sighs> mute that shit. Actually, pause it. Don't just mute it, because... I don't need it. Take a damn reason. Flick it over, dang here. Flick it over, dang. And then flick this over here. Final game of the day. For the SGFL, that is. Broncos. Patriots. That's right. Next. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Sam. That's ex yeah. That's exactly the the vibe. And that's the vibe we're going for. Oh, I guess he was a robot. <laughs> All right, Broncos will kick off to start this one, and we are underway. Prime time, SGFL, baby. It's Christie taking it past the 35 to the 40, getting it on that sideline to the 45 before being brought down, and the Patriots will start their first series of the ball game. Songin, the leading interception thrower of the SGFL, looks to hit Miller and does. Gets a first down out past the 40, 35. Stretches it to the 33. Nice play to open things up for Boston. It's not bad. Babies and gentlemen. Throwing for Lofton into double coverage incomplete. Song and gonna drop back. Good protection up front as he hits Christie over the middle for another first down and makes a good run of it to the nine. First and goal, Patriots. Okay, okay, okay. From the shotgun, first and goal. He's got a man over the middle. But he'll be sacked, Pete Man Gov to Magnum, you know what? <laughs> Songin on second down, trying to shake off the sack. The protection holds this time, and he hits his man! Touchdown, Patriots! It's Thomas Stevens! 
think that might be his first touchdown of the of the season. A golf clap for you, sir. And Cavaletti's extra point is up and good, as they often are. The ensuing kickoff is a pretty medium-sized kick, taken from the 17, tackled at the 26, and the Broncos will take over. Tripica, the man made of magic, hands off to Mingo, who will take it for three before going to the ground. Second and seven coming up from the shotgun. Tripica looking to throw, slinging it to Mingo, incomplete pass, good coverage. Looking to throw from the shotgun once again. Tripica's going to step up and be sacked by Tom Addison. He stepped up right into the awaiting arms of Tom Addison. And here comes a punt. Jessup punts it away. It's a nice one. Lots of hang time on it. From the 14 comes the return. And the cover team will hold him to the 25. Not a bad return. Not at all. First and 10 for the Patriots. Handoff goes between the tackles to Christie. He gets it out to the sideline, and he's off to the races! 45 to 50. Other 45, 40. One before being tackled down. First down, Patriots. Incredible. Who bet who? Broncos. Okay, I see. Run of five yards. It'll be second down, and the same. From the shotgun, Songen gonna throw for Christie. Oh, can't make the catch. He hit him right in stride. That's a very nice throw. Uncharacteristically nice throw by Butch Songen. Christie just doesn't make the catch. Handoff goes between the tackles. It's Christie once again, this time taking it in the middle. First down, Pats. First down, Pats. Songen from the shotgun looking to throw. Gonna get the pass off to Stevens. Diving grab, his second touchdown of the day. What a catch! Very nice, very nice throw, very nice catch. Laying out for it. Boston came to play today. They said, oh no, the Broncos will not just roll over us. And that'll end the first quarter. Short kick, it's a bit of a squib. Taken all the way to midfield, nice return. Broncos started up at the 50 yard line. Man in motion to the right. Handoff goes to Mingo up the middle. He'll gain nine. Nice run. Handoff. No, it's a reverse play to Taylor. I like this one. He'll try to cut it inside. Be dropped for a loss. I don't like it that much. Ooh -hoo. Third and three. Here comes the rush. Mingo tries to get past him, but he can't do it. Here comes another punt. Yeah, they don't have a lot of faith in Mingo to make uh, long kicks from this distance, it seems. Not like uh, the Packers do in, in Horning or, um, I mean, hell, even the Cowboys will kick it from that far with uh, with Bielski. Touchback on the punt. Handoff on first down goes to Christie. Nice gain of four yards. Second and six coming up. 3.21 to go in the first half. Patriots lead 14 to none. In fact, their offense has actually moved to the best of any all day. Looking long on the right side, this one will go incomplete. Hand off left side, they like this one a lot. But it doesn't work for him this time. He's dragged down just two yards short. And they will punt on fourth down. Uh, this is Boston's first punt of the day. The return will come from the 17 to the 25. Tries to get it out to the sideline, gets there, but they close the gap nicely, and the Broncos will set up shop at their 28 and a half, we'll call it. <laughs> Tripica with lots of time, gonna hit Mingo in stride at the 40. Fumble! Patriots have it! It's Fred Bruni! And he'll advance it all the way back to the line of scrimmage. And now it's the Patriots with the ball at the 29. Songen dropping back, gonna step up, gets a nice block, he'll take off! Finally dragged down at the 20, it's a gain of nine on that quarterback scramble. They'll call a timeout with a minute 12 to go on the half. Handoff goes right side, Miller with a lot of space, he's not the fastest guy in the world, 
but he gets the first down to the 12-yard line. First down from the offset eye. Songen will drop back. He's got a man over the middle. He'll throw left side. Lofton off target. Incomplete. Handoff goes between the tackles again. It's Christie getting it to the sideline. Met at the five. Can he break a tackle? No. And will they run another play? No, they're going to go with the field goal. Settle for the three points and say see you in the second half. Capaletti's kick is up and good. 17-0 Patriots. How do you like that? Certainly not the uh, expectation of today. But nevertheless, it is the outcome, and we are heading to halftime. Whew! Those fans in Denver are sweating! I'll tell you one thing that will keep them warm. And the Patriots will kick off. Now, I have seen the Broncos come back from similar circumstances. Do not count Frank and the boys out yet. Carmichael will take it past the 30 to the 35. A nice return gets to the 40, 45, and he's in Patriots territory to their 40 before being brought down at the Patriots 38-yard line. What a return to start the second half for the Broncos. Tripica looking to throw from the shotgun. He'll step up and take off. Got some room and a gain of eight to start things off for the offense in the shotgun once again. With lots of time, going to hit Greer on a quick throw. Incomplete. Third and two. Mingo takes it, gets the first down. Not much more, but that's all he needed. In the shotgun once again is Tripica. Looking to throw. Gonna throw for Greer off his fingertips. Can't quite make that throw. Seems to lack the control. Lots of protection up front. Very good. Ooh, that's an off-target throw. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Third and ten. Not Tripica's best day, I'll tell you what. Here comes the rush. Gotta get the pass off, but he won't. Harry Jagielski. Harry Jagielski. He's got a Harry Jagielski, if you know what <laughs> I mean, and they will send Mingo onto the field for a long one, lines it up and kicks away, it's, oh, off the upright, no good, and the Broncos remain scoreless, Patriots take over at the 35, handoff goes to Christie, he'll cut it back across to the right, gets a first down to the 47, nice run. Songen looking to throw from the shotgun. He'll hit Lofton. Lofton's all by himself. Man in pursuit. Drags him down at the 30-yard line. Nice run after the catch. He's known for it. Oh, he's got a man open on the right side, but he'll take off up the middle on a quarterback scramble. Makes two men miss and gets a first down to the 20. Nice run by old Butchie Boy. He does like to scramble himself. He does like that quite a bit. From the shotgun, looking to throw once again on first down. Gonna see Stevens! No! Can't make a catch for a third touchdown today. That would be nice. Song and dropping back. Protection up front is good. Starts to break down. He sees Callcloth on the right side. Hits him at the two and he walks it in for the touchdown. Jim Callcloth extends the Patriots lead. And the shutout carries on. 23 and 24 to nothing. This will be a long kick. Looks good. Gets way up, up higher than the scoreboard. Past the timer. Very nice. Oh, good tackle made at the five. And they are in risk of a safety. Better watch out. Hand it off goes to Carmichael. He'll gain nothing. May lose a little bit, actually. And now Tripica from the shotgun, gonna try to throw from his own end zone. Quick throw to Greer, makes a diving catch, and they're out of the danger zone. They still have a full quarter left, but they they need to get, they need to get going in a hurry. I'll tell you what. Throwing long, left side, out of bounds, incomplete. Tripica dropping back on second down. As the third quarter expires, he'll throw over the middle and complete once again. 
and it'll be third and ten to start the fourth and final quarter of today's events. Handoff, no, play action. Lots of good coverage downfield, but a nice grab! Tight coverage downfield, but a nice grab made, and the first down extends this drive. Tripica gonna look to throw left side for Taylor, beats his man and makes a grab at the 31. Another big first down for the Broncos. Too bad he wasn't playing like this earlier. Gotta throw it, he gets the pass off, looking for Greer! Woo! Would have been a touchdown. But a nice adjustment made by the defensive back. Separate him from the ball. Tripica looking to throw. Long for Greer again. Once again incomplete. Tripica looking to throw from the shotgun once again. Finds Greer in stride. He'll score this time. Woo, just barely. Had to make a man miss at the goal line. But it's Jimmy Greer into the end zone. And the Broncos are finally on the board. Uh, maybe Frankie Boy isn't that magical. <laughs> Whoops. Onside kick. A call. It's recovered immediately. No chance. That's that's exactly how you want that to go if you're the receiving team. Song and gonna drop back to throw once again. Covered or er, protection up front is really good. And a leaping grab by Jim Callcloth. He'll cut it back inside and he'll score. One play, one touchdown. Jim Callcloth get some style points for that one for sure. Holy hell. Holy hell. Holy hell is uh, the phrase of the day. <laughs> for sure. My goodness. If the Patriots played like this earlier this season, man, they'd be out in front in the standings. Carmichael going to take it past the 50. Nice return for the Broncos, but with 2.26 to go in a... Very hefty deficit. You gotta figure this one's over. Mingo. Bobbing and weaving for a five yard gain. <sighs> Tripica under pressure and he'll be sacked by Bill Brown! Third down and 14 coming up. 2.05 to go in the ball game. They'll hand it off left side to Carmichael, who is met for no gain. And certainly they will go for it here. Why not? Figure they'll sling it down the field. See if they can make something happen. Tripica going to try to step up, and he'll be sacked. Tom Addison gets another one, and that'll be a turnover on downs. Definitely not Denver's best day. Handoff goes to Christie once again. Three yards in a cloud of dust. Really, uh, just a one or two first downs is all you really need if you're the Patriots here. You can run the clock. Pass over the middle to Stevens is incomplete somehow. He does not make the grab. Third and seven. Handoff. Christie has some good blocking up front. He'll get a first down. Can he break this tackle? No. Help comes and brings him down. And that used up a lot of time, so honestly, that's not a bad thing. Miller up the middle. Breaks through! He's in the secondary! What a run by Miller! He's barely touched the ball all day. Decides to break him off a piece. Christie met quickly at the line. But at this point, they're just running the clock. And this should be the final play of the game. Songen gonna throw. Hits Miller. Miller scores! Oh my goodness. Now this is a legitimate example of pouring it on. But you know what? If you're the Patriots, I can't blame you with the way your season's going. And the final extra point. Please. Please, let, let, them, let them leave. Just let them leave. 38-7. Butch Songen goes off. I think this is the first game he's played where he didn't throw an interception. Uh, 38-7. Patriots get their second win in a row. <laughs> they picked a hell of a time to start winning games. But uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles today, folks. Let me record that score real quick, and I'll let this fat beat play us out. 
Um, I'll record the score. Cheb's gonna be happy to hear that. Thirty-eight to seven. Patriots get the dubsy. A little double, do ya? A little double, do ya? <laughs> Indeed, Sam. You 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 win some and you lose some. That is for sure. I mean, hell, uh, look at the the fucking Eagles. They're they're what three and three. I had them picked to be six and one at the end of the season. In fact, every most most predictions that I have made long term this season have been completely wrong. Uh, Patriots definitely get the win there. Congratulations, Axion. I think I think Axion bet on um. Yep, two point one k go to Axion. Congratulations, me boy. Um, we'll switch back over here. Oh, oops. Get that off the screen. Oops. Um, all right, all scores are reported. Let's flick it over here for uh, final words of today for the SGFL. And then, like I said, I'm going to go eat real quick, restart my computer, and then we'll be back shortly with um, Zelda 2. And we'll finish Zelda 2. Uh, oh, whoops. There you go. I didn't realize I had it muted, my bad. There you go. All right. So this is our current standings. Of course, um, we actually go by point differentials. So the Packers are in first place and the Chargers are in second place. But uh, it is definitely taking shape with one week to go. Um, if it ended today, uh, the Bills and Cowboys would play in the uh, in the Contenders Cup with the Bills hosting, and then the Packers would be the hosts of the Super Bowl, and the Chargers would be the hosts of the Browns Bowl. But it does not end today. It ends on Monday. Well, the regular season ends on Monday. Because we're still going to go ahead and play Week 7 as scheduled on Monday. So that's exciting. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That'll do it for the SGFL. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for all the hosts. That was awesome. Um, thanks to, to uh, everybody that participated in the gambling. The gambling is always fun. We we do like a good gamble around these parts. Um, and with that, folks, uh, I guess I'll see ya in like like 20 minutes. So, you know, don't go nowhere. <laughs> Be back in a bit. Thanks! What a pass by Eddie LeBaron! What a run by Doran! The extra point is up and good!